thermal imaging can be a very valuable tool if used to optimize its capabilities. It is important to understand when using a thermal imaging device that the temperature of an animal is not as important as the temperature difference between the animal and its background. Consider this beehive. The interior is quite hot compared to the exterior, and as bees fly it out of the hive, they appear as white-hot dots. However, when they return, they are cool compared to the hive interior and appear as black dots. Shading can affect temperature and provide a sufficient temperature difference. Here you will notice the man's shadow remains after he moves. As we see here, even the temperature difference of the subject's breath against the cooler mustache is observable. And, as described in the book, this phenomenon has been used to detect the highly insulated polar bear and polar bear dens. Here, a bird is observed during the day, and because it is warmer than the background, it is detected. However, when birds are silhouetted against a background of the sky or cold space, they are quite easily observed. Used properly, thermal imaging can provide close to 100% detectability, particularly if panning from different angles is used. Here, an animal is detected, and once it is viewed from different angles and begins to move, can be identified as a bear. Indeed, with the appropriate background contrast, animals are easily identified. It is important to note that because animals have evolved over time to conserve heat in cold temperatures, very cold temperatures or snow-covered backgrounds are not ideal conditions. To achieve the best signature, observing animals at times when they are radiating off heat produces the largest temperature contrast with the background. Using the panning technique is particularly helpful in heavily forested areas. Here, four deer are detected in a forest using the thermal imager from a helicopter. Not only can heat radiating from the object of interest be detected, but heat conducted from an animal to the surrounding environment can be detected and provide information. Here, the heat from the resting fox can be viewed at its bedding area. Heat radiating from this hollow log indicates the presence of an animal, and the log continues to radiate heat after the animal a skunk leaves. In this next segment, we observe not only the herring, but also its droppings. And even as it walks through some water and hops onto a branch, its footprints remain. Drones present a new page in observation techniques. Some systems offer dual visual and thermal cameras. A small herring at the center of the frame along the water's edge can be difficult to discern, even when it moves. However, the same scene viewed with the thermal imager can easily detect the heron. In fact, you can even observe it feeding. Though, when the herring moves from the cooler water background to the warmer upland area, it is lost in the background clutter of multiple thermal signatures. The thermal imager can also pick out different temperatures in the water, which can be observed here as the paddler stirs the cooler water to the surface with the paddle. This is useful in looking for groundwater upwelling or septic tank leakage. Thermal imaging can be a very valuable tool if used to optimize its capabilities. The book Thermal Imaging Techniques to Survey and Monitor Animals in the Wild explains how to use thermal cameras to the best advantage.